Good morning, you guys. Welcome to, oh my goodness, a uh, simple Paris vlog. I'm so tired, not just physically, but mentally. I had my presentation for Bonjour Paris on the 8th arrondissement, and it went really well, but it was just so mentally draining. Every single night for the past two weeks, I've been practicing, I've been reading. It's just like, it's been a lot. So I'm really tired, um, and I had to get up early because I have a physio appointment this morning so i thought i would show you guys what i'm eating for breakfast i have these like these egg wraps in rice paper kiwi and um some fresh spinach with about four cloves of garlic jean is so incredibly sick he's been sick for almost a week and i desperately didn't want to catch his illness um especially for my presentation just in general, I didn't want to get sick. So I've been feeding us garlic and ginger and honey and kiwis and oranges and citrus and all that. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm eating for breakfast. I'm gonna hurry up and eat and get changed and then we'll head to physio. And I figured that while we're out as well, I could take you around. Um, I wanna go pick up the pottery that Jean and I did last week. And it's also right beside my favorite coffee shop. So we'll go there as well. So yeah, welcome. Welcome to today's vlog. <laughs> Premier, ouais, il y avait celui-là. Ou sinon, c'était sur les mains aussi. Ouais, comme ça aussi. Et sur les genoux, c'était comme ça Ouais, sur le coude. Ouais. Comme ça, on était sur les genoux, comme ça. Des deux côtés. Celui-là Celui-là où tu viens relever seulement les épaules. Ouais, avec les mains, ouais. Avec les mains, ouais, au niveau des fesses. Et quand tu te relèves, ouais. tu vas pas viser. Tes genoux mais tu vises le plafond comme ça ouais c'est ça Okay, I just got home. I did a little grocery shopping on the way and I got my coffee from Nomad. I didn't pick up our pottery because they don't open in 2 p.m. So we'll do that later. Mm, but I did get groceries for tonight. We're gonna make fish and I thought it'd be good to have like potatoes and some fresh veg and stuff. Um, I'm gonna make lunch now, I'm so hungry, but I had the best physio session ever. It was so good. So I did 30 minutes with the kinesiologist. He did like a little back massage and um, and stretches and stuff and then in one of the stretches it was hurting my back because i wasn't using the right muscles and i was like oh i don't really know how to use my abs i don't have any abs so i think it's hurting my back and there was an intern who was um who's like following my sessions and stuff and he was like oh well the intern can totally take you in the other room and show you some exercises and i thought she would be there with me for like 10 minutes <laughs> showing me these exercises but we did an extra 50 minutes on top of the session that like i'd already paid for doing ab exercises and she was so smart she was so engaged i was i was so impressed and really thankful honestly for helping me so yeah it's such a good i had such a good session i think you can tell that um this morning i was so groggy and tired and it's crazy how just a little bit of physical exercise really just jacks up my mood oh my gosh i'm so hungry so for lunch I'm gonna make a baked sweet potato. And I'm also gonna heat up some of this choucroute. I don't know what the name is in English, I forget. It's like shredded white cabbage. It's really good for gut health. And because I was on antibiotics mm, about a month ago for my finger, 
and it takes two or three months to get your gut health, gut health back after antibiotics, I thought it'd be good to keep eating this. And I also have this little salad. It's a tuna and bean salad. And I'm also gonna throw in these, which I recently discovered. I'm so excited. They are pickled spicy peppers. They're like this. And they're so yummy. And I'm just gonna chop it up and throw it in this little salad. And I'll probably have Greek yogurt and a kiwi for something sweet after. I'm really trying to be good with my diet. Um, and to really eat more vegetables and a more variety of vegetables. I'm also trying to cut out butter from my diet. Like, not completely, but uh, I keep reading how it's better to use olive oil, for example, instead of butters. So yeah, I think for my potato, for example, when I roast it, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and butter as a, salt and olive oil, as opposed to butter. I don't have much planned for this afternoon. I kind of want to go to a sporting goods store because I have to get yoga blocks for one of the stretches that they gave me in physio to improve my flexibility. And I have to go pick up the pottery, which I'm so excited for. I know it's snowing this morning, but it's turned into, I mean, as you can probably see, this beautiful, sunny, warm day, which is really nice. It's nice to have a break from the gloomy, rainy, snowy days that we've had pretty recently. I can't really describe it, but it just feels so good to have kind of a day off. I know that doesn't really make sense because today is Thursday, but Doing YouTube is so different from a regular nine to five because most weekends, like the past two weekends, I work full time. I've been working on the presentation and reading for the presentation and taking notes and all of that. So I really have been working almost seven days a week. So even though it's not the weekend, I feel like today is kind of a day off from all of that mental work. And it just feels so good to not have to think about anything. <laughs> which might sound kind of dumb. Um, but yeah, I'm going to throw this in the oven at 400 degrees. I don't know why I'm giving you the recipes for these things, but I'm just gonna throw in the oven. Uh, and I'll set a timer. Okay. I recently actually discovered that you could buy frozen chicken nuggets. I know that you might be thinking that's kind of crazy that I only recently discovered this, but I've never ever really bought frozen foods. I think there was always this idea that frozen foods, whether it's like vegetables or anything like that, is inherently more unhealthy than fresh foods, which I don't even know is correct, but I've always had that perception, so I don't really buy frozen foods. And also, let's be real here, <laughs> When you live in Paris, it's a miracle to even have a freezer. My whole life in Paris, except for now when I live with Jean, we have an actual fridge. You always have tiny mini fridges for your studios and they very rarely have functioning freezers. So uh, frozen foods is not something that I ever really consumed regularly, but I recently discovered that you could buy frozen chicken nuggets. And for two weeks, I was obsessed. I would eat them for lunch every single day. <laughs> And I was telling my best friend about it and I was like, how many chicken nuggets a day do you think is unreasonable? And she was like, Ariel, that is like processed and fried foods. Like you shouldn't be eating them every single day. And I didn't even think about that. So I stopped eating the chicken nuggets. That's why I'm making more of a healthy lunch today. <laughs> but I did go through this two week phase last week, like the last two weeks, where I was eating chicken nuggets all the time. <laughs> I don't know what it is, tell me if you guys are the same, but I love everything pickled. My favorite foods are pickles, pickled beets, and now these. I also love in a Bloody Mary cocktail in a Clamato, that's probably more the word for it. I love putting in these pickled beans, not jalapenos, but pickled beans. I don't know what it is, I just crave the pickled flavor. So I love any recipe where I can put these pickled jalapenos in.
Man, I'm glad I wore sunscreen this morning. <laughs> it is hot. It is hot. Okay, the sweet potato is going to take probably close to an hour to roast in the oven, so I'm not going to start heating the choucroute up for maybe another 40 minutes. But I will show you guys my wool order that came in. I have a scarf that I want to knit for Jean. I have to add the tassels to the purple scarf that I knit. And I also bought smaller yarn to knit a matching bandeau to the purple scarf that I made. So let me show you. Oh wait, actually before that, let's do a grocery haul. Let me show you guys what I got. <laughs> okay, first things first. I got this large leaf spinach. Like I said, every morning I have been making Jean and I um, sauteed spinach with massive amounts of garlic. I was reading, I read a couple articles on garlic and the research is mixed. Some people really advocate for the medicinal properties of garlic and others are more skeptical. But I was reading in one of these studies that eating three cloves of garlic a day um, produces almost the same effect as taking antibiotics when you're ill. I think there's also a method to eating it, like you have to either chew it or crush it to activate the medicinal properties. But yeah, we've been just binge eating garlic. I bought parsley for the fish that we're gonna make tonight. Ooh, I also found these really tiny potatoes which I thought were so cute. I don't even know if you can see, I can see the sun is weirdly hitting, but tiny potatoes. I got a broccoli as well that I'll throw on the baking tray with the fish. And then I'm gonna cut up uh, this turnip and these carrots to put on the baking sheet as well, which I think will make a very nice, healthy dinner. We might make some rice as well to go with the fish. But yeah. Okay, let me show you my yarn. <laughs> Hold on, let me shut the blinds. This is too hot. <laughs> okay, I think that's a bit better. So, a month after I ordered all of this yarn, it finally came in, which is so annoying. Again, you guys, I understand a week to deliver things, but one month for something I ordered to come in is really ridiculous. Anyways, it finally came in and I got these two purple yarns. I don't know why I ordered two. One I ordered definitely so that I can add tassels to the scarf. I really don't remember what that was for, which is again, another problem of this order coming in so late. I ordered yeah, this thinner wool to match the purple scarf that I already made and I'm gonna make this into a headband. And in order to make that headband, I also bought these circular needles, which I've never used before, but we'll see how that goes. And ooh, I also got this lighter yarn and I'm hoping that I will have time to, or even that I'll have the skill to knit both or two headbands. I know the purple one's gonna be a lot of trial and error. It's always like that when I first started a new knitting pattern, but I'm hoping that I can knit a second one for my mom or my best friend. And then I got this green yarn because I want to make a matching scarf for Jean. So yeah, this is the problem though, is I started and I finished, I started and I finished my scarf a month ago and that's when I ordered all of this yarn so because it's been a month since I finished my last scarf I forget the pattern I forget simple things like how to cast on so it's kind of annoying to get back into it I think the next time I definitely won't order the yarn I'll just go and try and find it in store but the reason why I ordered this time is because I wanted to make sure I could find the matching lilac for the scarf to add the tassels I went to a couple and they didn't have this so Anyways, yeah, I think on this glorious sunny day off, I'm gonna eat lunch, curl up on the couch, and uh, knit. Or at least start knitting. Start getting these two projects going.
était très belle, Ariel. Tu es magnifique. La plus belle femme du monde. Alors, c'est gros, John, like I said, is feeling kind of under the weather, but I picked up our pottery and I want to do a reveal. We've been waiting all week to find out what our designs look like. So, okay, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do yours first. Oh, no. Why? Because it's mine. So uh, it's uh, more beautiful, so it's the best for the end. You think yours are more beautiful than mine? Yes. No, come on, do it. Oh. oh you really want to do mine first? No, I did. You give me mine, but uh, you you prefer yours? Um, I think so. <laughs> Sorry. Attention. I don't know what it is. Is it the one? Is it the couché or the? Couché, couché. Wow, it's the plus joli. Attends, no, it's the it's the one with the stars. Yeah. Okay, it's the one behind. But you're surprised, I think. Ouais. Merde. Allez, allez, allez. Wouah Arrête, c'est trop bien <rire> Wouah, je suis trop fort Honestly, it is really cute. Ok, so this is the first one. Je pose si on voit là. Ah oui, mais tu as peut-être déjà montré. I don't know if you can see. We'll do, we'll do a close-up after. This is the first egg cup. I'm... I'm the boss. You are the boss. Yes, I know. Wait, I think I want to move the camera closer so they can see, like they have a better picture. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move you closer. Guys, we don't want to hear it. We know our Christmas tree is still up. <laughs> what are you? We are only uh, the 15th of December. Huh? Of January. Oh, shit. But I don't want to take the Christmas decorations down because we have to start putting up our gallery wall and it's stressing me out, so. When I feel ready to the gallery wall, I'll take the Christmas tree down. Okay, give them a close up. Non mais il faut... T'as couvert ton visage Non mais ton visage Bah oui mais je peux pas couvrir après mais je peux pas voir l'écran Mais comment tu veux que je couvre après je vois pas Stop Mais fais le tourner, faut il faut qu'il voit toute la mer etc And the reflection of the sun <rire> I am an artist Here you have the reflection of the sun in the water Allez, il chose ça qu'il Oh I non. know, I know, I know, I know Oh, je suis déçu. Les étoiles se voient pas. That... Show them. Oh, sorry, yeah. Here, I'll do it. What? You kind of see the stars. Yes, a little bit, but this is not... They are not shining. Oh, maybe... Uh... Attends, chut. Okay, so this is the night version. You have the sun that sets on the beach. But yeah, Jean's a bit disappointed because he used the paintbrush to flick on stars. But in order for anything to come through, you have to paint it at least three times. So because you only flicked them on with one coat on a darker background, I guess that's why it didn't work. Mm. So yeah, these are Jean's egg cups. Okay, ready? Oui. Okay! This is mine. Okay. Wait, I want to unravel mine. No. Tu l'as pas vu? No! Ah, d'accord. I, I only saw them quickly. Ah, je crois que tu les avais déjà vus. Non. So I made a mug. It looks so good. Wow. That is good. Okay, so here's what cover your face. Cover your face. So mine is um, mountains huh? with the sun. And oh my gosh, I was so stressed by the end because we only had three hours to paint and. I had seen the examples of other people and I knew that if you didn't put at least four coats, the colors wouldn't come out like super bright because if you compare, I'm sorry, I hate to compare our sons, but if you compare like Jean's son with my son, mm, I think mine is definitely more dark mm -hmm. because I did five coats of my son. But I'm actually so impressed. I like tried i'm like sorry i'm so excited i tried to do this like um how do you say it in english Le décadé. like a fade from a fade of the sky like from pinkish to white and then you have like the white mountains in the back i actually love this mug 
Mm, yes, it's my new. Oh, and the inside is green. Look how pretty that green is. It's my new mug. So pretty. I'm really impressed. I love our art. We did such a good job. Yes, I know. <laughs> You're such a sassy, sick person. Why? I don't know what does that what that mean, but uh, yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you for watching our unboxing. Mm, I think we're gonna make dinner, and I'm not too sure if we're gonna vlog tonight because I'm just gonna continue knitting. I think. I'll show you guys oh. my progress. I had to restart it because I made a mistake and only like only time only, well, only once. Oh. My scarf I had to restart about five or six times, I think. <laughs> this one I only had to restart once so far. This is what it looks like. Mm, so yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the end of this vlog today. Maybe I'll show you guys what we're eating for dinner, but do you have any other words you wanna say? Uh, stay safe and in health. Oh my God. I know, I'm scared. This is the closest I've sat beside Jean in four days. <laughs> No, I feel a little bit better, but it's not... Uh... Yeah, honestly, I'm actually really proud of my body for not mm. picking up your illness. I don't know if it's the ginger or the garlic, but yeah. Okay, all right, that's enough. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Mm. I hope you had fun. I have a really exciting video coming out on Saturday. I have to finish it tomorrow, but I think you guys are going to like it, so stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.